That's right. You know, that's right. Uh, okay, switch topics with me for a second. Um, in the world of sports, mm -hmm. th there's a whole uproar right now. Um, transgender women, you know, they, they, they're competing against the cis agenda. Is that what you call it? The cis gender? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, it, do, do, do you think that's fair? Um, so what are you asking? Like, is it in, fair in, for... in sports, in sports, mm -hmm. whether it's track and field, um, swimming, are you saying, is it fair that a trans woman can compete in a woman's Yes. Woman's, um, I believe it's fair. Yeah, I, I believe it's fair. If she's on hormone therapy all the way and she even if she has a sex change, that makes it even better. But um, yeah, I think it's fair because we view ourselves as women. We don't want to compete in no men's competition. So, yeah, it's fair. Unless, you know, they want to do something in the future where it's just transgender competition, then do that. But at this point, no, I feel like if I was a swimmer and I'm a professional swimmer, but I identify as female, I'm going to be wanting to compete against women, not men. So, yes, it's very fair. Nothing else to even talk about, really, as far as debating on that. It's fair, in my opinion. Other people, it might not be fair, but in my opinion, it's fair. I'm not about to compete compete against a whole group of full-blown men when I am looking like this. No. <laughs> mm -mm. Uh, I mean, and right now, there are a lot of women who are saying that it's unfair. Uh, you know, that's, they, they that's the, mm -hmm. you know, we, we understand how you see yourself, but but it's it, you have an unfair advantage. So yeah, this that's, is that's those debates that I'm sure are going to be, you know, talked about for many years to come. Yeah, I don't think it'll ever be in agreement with it. But yeah, but but nowadays we we have we have we're able like to. Change our birth certificates to female, all that. So things is changing. The times is changing. So it's going to be fair whether you like it or not, because I feel like then you're going to have a whole nother other issue if you won't let this girl compete because she's trans. And they don't want that issue with the LGBTQ community. It's just, you know, who wants to deal with all of that? Let the girl compete and 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 end the story. Like leave it alone. Cause you're gonna open a, a can of whoop ass and a can of worms you don't want to, you know, open. You know how the community is. So so my I got to ask you. My community gets crazy when they want to fight for something. The, you just mentioned the LGBTQ community, and, and mm -hmm. you are absolutely right. They 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 get it in. <laughs> um, it's it's just as as bad as animal abuse. If you yes, abuse, yes. you abuse the animal, you're gonna get them people with them animal rights coming at you. It's the same as the whole LGBT rights. It's gonna be the exact same energy. No, you're absolutely right, and we saw it firsthand. With Dave Chappelle. They went crazy. His um stand-up show on Netflix, The Closer. I, I personally didn't look at it as transphobic, but I'm not trans. Mm -hmm. did, did you get to see this special? And if you did, did you feel I didn't get to see it, it was it, offensive? But I I didn't get to see it, but I heard about it. But I from what I heard, I they said he was friends with this person. They were friends and Correct. I just kind of heard that, but I didn't find anything wrong with what I heard so far, but I'm going to have to check it out. But I don't think it was something that serious from what I heard that they made it out to be. No, I think it confused a lot of people within the heterosexual world because it, it, it sounded like he was giving it up to the community. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, but I, you know, I'm, I'm not transgender and I don't walk in their shoes. So for me, I was 
I was a little confused, but I was just wondering, did you feel offended in any way or did you feel like he crossed the line? Because truth be told, it, it didn't come that it didn't come off that way from me sitting in the crowd listening to him, you know, tell his jokes. Of course, Dave is Dave and he 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 spit some hard truths, but mm-hmm. it, it didn't sound offensive. Yeah, I didn't get anything offended from it because I didn't really see it. I might have to sit down and check it out. But I, from what I heard, I, I didn't hear nothing that was like, oh, my God, why did he say that? Like, I just heard that he was friends with this person and um, they committed, did they commit suicide or something like that? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. His friend, his friend so committed that, suicide. That's all I heard. So I don't really, I didn't get anything bad from it, but I'm going to check it out. Well, you know, Sydney, it's been my pleasure sitting and talking with you. You have educated me and I can't wait to put this out. Um, I'm sure it's going to be so many people who, number one, see you in a different light. Um, but number two, you've opened all of our eyes to what it's like to to be a transgender woman. Like, So, mm-hmm. so thank you so much for you know, number I, I, you know, you you were very outspoken. You didn't dodge one question, and and you went into great depth with with everything that I asked. So thank you so much for your time. No problem. Yeah, I enjoyed talking with you, and good luck on everything in the future. And yeah, this one's for the history books. All right, girl. Thank you again, and um, you know, let's do it again soon. Okay. Thank you. What's up guys, thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love, make every move a power move, and I'll catch you all on the next video.